Hi everyone, this is Helene from Heart House Astrology and today I'm going to share with you some beauty tips based on astrology. First off, I'd love to thank Nadia Shah for having me and giving me this opportunity to speak with you today. It is such a pleasure and I'm so grateful for this opportunity. Um, Nadia has been an inspiration to me for about a decade, so I'm truly, truly honored. So thank you and I hope you enjoy. So today I wanted to talk to you um, and give you some beauty tips um, that you can use to plan um, your beauty procedures to have the best effects and beautifying influences. So let's get started. I wanted to start with the hair. So a lot of people want long hair and they wanna know when's the best time to go for a haircut. So the best time, if length is what you want, is to go during the Leo um, moon, preferably starting at the new moon or shortly after um, when the moon is growing. So during that time, you'll have the best results for fast growing hair. Um, this is a tested method I have, I have tried myself. Um, my hair is as long as it's probably hasn't been this long since I was a child. So. Um, it definitely works if you want long hair. Um, you know, if you want strength and you need strength if your hair is breaking and you need that support for growth, you can also try a Taurus moon, uh, again, at the new moon or shortly after. And that'll help um, strengthen the hair to help it grow. Now, if you color your hair, get highlights, um, touching up grays, whatever, if you want the color to stay you want to do it when the moon is in a fixed sign so that is when the moon is in leo aquarius scorpio or taurus now you may need a little support in finding when this is happening so you can use an app there's plenty of apps um, that will tell you the moon sign as well as phase you could probably also search it on Google, see when it's happening, get yourself um, an astrological calendar that could be beneficial. Um, so again, so you're gonna want to do your color during a fixed sign. This will help the color stay and hold um, because it's a fixed energy. You do wanna stay away from getting your hair colored during an Aries moon because this has a drying influence and um, coloring itself is very drying. So you do want to avoid doing your color on an Aries moon. Okay, so Venus, Venus rules beauty. And as you may be familiar with, some of you may not, but um, you know, Venus does go through a retrograde cycle. And when Venus is retrograde, this is time that is not advised to um, do any new beauty procedures or, um, you know, getting new tattoos or purchase makeup or new clothes because you might not be happy um, after Venus turns direct with what you chose to do. So best is to wait until after and when Venus is direct. Now Venus was retrograde last year, 2019, we are in the clear, but I do want to give you the dates for the next Venus retrograde cycle, which is happening in 2020. So in 2020, in the spring, um, May 13th through June 25th, 2020, Venus will be retrograde. During those weeks of the retrograde, you want to avoid any um, permanent beauty procedures. Um, you may want to avoid any drastic haircuts or color, just because you know, it's not going to turn out exactly as you had hoped. So I, I would advise against that. And I know a lot of you save up for tattoos or procedures. Um, and I just want to give you a heads up on the time there. Okay. So, you know, when you're getting new clothes or new looks, I always recommend when Venus crosses your ascendant, um, you know, when Venus transits all the different houses, you know, she's beautifying each area, bringing, you know, beauty towards that area of your life. And your ascendant is your appearance and how you look. So, you know, you always feel more beautiful during this time. Again, you would like, you do want to um, see what 
else is happening in the sky. So even if a Venus is crossing your ascendant, you know, the transiting Venus could be under stress. So you might um, need an astrologer just to check in with that for you, especially if it's anything more permanent. Um, it could also be making some more challenging aspects to your chart that would be individualized to your chart as well. So you could look for support with that. But overall, in general, often Venus crossing the Ascendant is a time to try new looks, to buy some beauty, um, beauty products or new makeup, new clothes, and you know, get your hair done. It's usually a good time. Um, also, I wanted to talk about more permanent uh, beauty procedures. So if you were getting um, a cosmetic surgery, um, I would avoid all um, full moons for cosmetic surgeries because the influence of the full moon does increase swelling and bruising. And so um, to avoid that, you know, you would want to do that. Um, if you're adding something to the body, you would do, um, do that during when the moon is growing, um, you know, like implants or Botox or something like that when the moon is growing after the new moon. If you are removing skin, removing fat, you would uh, recommend that for after the full moon, so when the moon is decreasing and you're releasing from your body. Okay, and um, also, you know, anything permanent, I even a haircut because I'm, you know, I'm more cautious because I like my hair long. Um, I would avoid mercury retrogrades because during a mercury retrograde, you know, there's more um, potential for miscommunication. So if you wanted a new style, you know, your stylist may um, just not understand you completely. And, you know, there, there could be potential of um, disappointment because of the miscommunication. So I would avoid mercury retrograde. Um, we do have three Mercury retrogrades a year, and in 2019, the first Mercury retrograde is March 5th through the 28th. The second Mercury retrograde is in July, and that's July 7th through the 31st. And the last Mercury retrograde of 2019 is in October, starting the 31st to November 20th. So during the Mercury retrograde times, you want to avoid... Um, any new um, tattoos or haircuts if you know you care about <laughs> what's going to happen um, you know because of miscommunications mercury does rule the hands and fingers so you know your stylist is going to need those or your artist is going to need those or a surgeon um, and also you know give yourself I would give yourself three days before the date of the Mercury retrograde starting and after because that's when the planet is stationing and, the, and when a planet is stationing, it's five times stronger. You know, you, you might not want to wait the whole shadow period. I know that's a long time, but I would at least do three days before or three days after. Okay, so if you were to get um, a surgery or a tattoo, I also want a strong Mars. So again, you want to avoid a Mars retrograde. And luckily, last year was a year of major retrogrades with Venus and Mars. This year, we're in the clear with Mars. So if you want a procedure done, this year is a good year. Um, if you're saving up for a procedure, a beauty procedure or tattoo, um, you want to avoid September 9th, 2020 through January 2nd, 2021. That's the next time Mars is retrograde. So keep that into consideration if you are saving up and planning. Okay, so the next level of any permanent procedures is the area of the body. So we, we got our hair, we, you know, and our color and our, and our beautifying with makeup and clothes. But if you were getting um, a more permanent procedure, um, on the body, we're going to go through the rulership of the body um, because each body part is ruled by a sign. And when we're working on a specific area of the body, we do not want the moon in that sign that rules that body part. Okay, that's what we want to avoid. 
So I'm going to go down the list for you, starting with the face. Aries, if you were getting a procedure on your eyes or um, Botox, you know, you want to avoid anything on the face with an Aries moon. If you wanted something on the throat or neck, skin tightening lifts, something like that, tattoo, um, you're going to avoid the Taurus moon because Taurus rules this side of the, this part of the body, these parts. If you want a tattoo on your arm or your fingers or your hands, you're going to avoid the Gemini moon. Um, if you want breast augmentation or um, a tattoo on the area, you are going to avoid the um, Cancer moon. If you want um, tattoos on your back, uh, chest, that's Leo, so you would avoid the Leo moon. If you are getting some sort of surgery that is for weight loss, um, you know, like a bypass surgery or sleeve or something like that, gastric sleeve, something that rules with the intestines and doing surgery there, I would have, I would avoid the Virgo moon because uh, Virgo rules the intestines. However, Virgo moons are awesome for getting surgery because, you know, you're, um, you know, any other one except the intestines because, you know, I, I just love a Virgo moon. You get stuff done, you're more detail oriented, you're more precise. So that's good um, for anything else. Okay. So if you are wanting something on your lower back or buttocks, um, that rules Libra, so you would avoid the Libra moon. If you were um, working on getting something with the sexual organs, you would avoid a Scorpio moon. Sagittarius rules the thighs, so anything in that area you would avoid during the Sagittarius moon. Capricorn, Capricorn is the knees. Um, it also rules the teeth, so if you wanted to get your teeth whitened or cosmetic dentistry, you would avoid the Capricorn moon. Also, the skin overall in general, anything dealing with the skin, you also should avoid the Capricorn moon. Aquarius is the shins and the ankles and calves, so anything um, like a tattoo or something in that area, you would avoid the Aquarius moon. Now Pisces is the feet, it also rules fat. So if you're getting a tattoo on your foot or if you want liposuction, you would avoid a Pisces moon. Okay, so those are the rulership um, body parts for each sign. Again, you're gonna need to know the moon um, phases, you're, you're going to need to know the sign of the moon and the retrograde cycles of Mars, Venus, and Mercury. You're going to look for good aspects to the moon to personal planets or Jupiter and Venus, you know, something, a nice harmonious aspect. So you don't want anything um, stressful. And you know, if you want your long hair, go for the Leo, the Leo new moon. I swear by that. And, um, you know, the fixed signs for color. Yeah. And I, so I hope um, these beauty tips have helped you. Um, let me know how you do. It was a pleasure being here. And thank you for watching. Bye.